Hi everyone, this is Ken from Caramage and in this little movie I'm going to show you the process for installing the Caramage tools. I'm going to do this using the, the trial registration and there's four steps involved there. So the first part is the registration, then we'll look at how we can download the Caramage installer. As a kind of side issue to that, I'll also give you a little bit of a tour of mycaramage.com and the resources that are available there. Then we'll look at how we install the Caramage tools themselves and finally we'll look at how we can install the Caramage work environment to make sure the tools and the features are available inside Archicad. So the first step is we have to go and look at the trial registration. I've now jumped across into Safari and I'm looking at the free trial registration page. I do already have an account, kind of helps working for the company. So what I'm going to do is I've set up a temporary email address and I'm going to go through and create my details and add these in here so I can go through the process as if I was experiencing this for the first time. So I'm now adding my details. The final thing to do is accept the terms and conditions. You can click on the link and read those terms and conditions. I've already done so, so I'm going to click the accept button and then register. The next page that appears actually gives me all of the information and all of the links I need to actually download and get started with the tools straight away. So what I'm going to do is start the download from here. So I have the choice, do I want to work in either Archicad 18, Start Edition 2015, Archicad 17 or the Archicad 16 base products. So I'm going to go with Archicad 18 and then it's simply a choice of am I running Windows or in this case I'm running a Mac. So I simply click the download link and let that finish processing. There are instructions here that tell us what to do. So the next step is once this is downloaded, we install the installer, we launch it and we sign in and it takes us through these steps to complete the installation. While I'm in here, what I'll also do is download the work environment installation files as well. So we have two options here. We can do the installer, which automates the process. And there is actually an option to download the manual install files. So the installation itself is pretty straightforward and just runs through. What I'm going to do is download the manual files so you can see it if you want to manually configure the work environment. So I'm keeping in my downloads. See so these have actually finished. And the next step is actually to go and run the installer. What I'm going to do is go to the finder. What I've done here is I've copied the installation file for the Caramage installer and also the work environment profile. I've copied these to my desktop so they're nice and easy to see and, and work with. So the first step is I've got to open the DMG. On Windows there's a slightly different setup because there is actually an installer which installs the Caramage installer. On Mac it's a different process. We literally just take the application and drag and drop it into the applications folder. Personally what I like to do at that point on Mac OS is just take this and I'll drag it down here and position it beside my Archicad installations. So the first step is now complete. We have the Caramage installer installed. I'm going to tidy my desktop. And what I can do now is run the Caramage installer for the first time. So the first thing I need to do at this stage is connect. So I'm going to provide my details. So it's the same username and password that I used to create the account. And what that does is then examine the system to see what's installed. Now, on a clean machine, there'd be absolutely nothing installed here. I obviously have some stuff installed because I already have other tools on the system. But what we'll do is then look at, rather than install tools, the trial versions or the educational versions. So I'm running a trial, and what I can do here is just go through and choose whatever tools I wish to work with. So I'm just going to grab them all. So literally select all. These are all checked. And all I do at this point is hit the download and install button. Because this is the first installation of the tools on the trial agreement, we do have to go through the end user license agreement. And when you're happy with that, you can hit the accept button to allow the installation to proceed. So while the installation is running, I thought what I would do is show you a quick tour of myacademies.com. It may be at part of the, at the stage of registration, you might not be on the machine you want to install the tools and you might not have downloaded the tools at that point during registration. So at any time, you can come back into myacademies.com and you can download them again. And there's a few other bits we can do as well. The one thing you see here is across the top, because I've just set up this temporary address, I haven't yet confirmed it. What I have to do is make sure that I go and check my inbox and click the confirmation in the email that comes through just to deal with that. So I'm going to close that for now because I know that I'm going to do that later.
In terms of the rest of mycarimage.com, there are these four sections. The dashboard is a section we're on just now, and it has some useful things on it, such as the tip of the day. We can go to the full article, we can visit the blog and look at the other tip of the day articles, etc. We have access to the help centre, and we also have access to the knowledge base where we can search for help on any of these carimage tools. The most important feature you probably need, though, is Cat Image Tools sections itself, from where you can go to get Cat Image Tools. And from in here, what you can see is you have the option to choose a Cat 18, 17, or 16. And then you can download the various different versions of the tools or the installer itself. For versions 17 and 16, there is a slightly different method. We select the tools we want to include and then we download the trials specific to those versions. If we go back to Archicad 18, you can also see there's a link to download the work environment from Mac or PC, depending on your preference there. There's a few other bits of PCs, such as the migration libraries and the goodies. My account is where you can go in and you can manage your account details. So if you wanted to change the company details, your own details, or subscribe or unsubscribe from the newsletters, then you'll see that this can be managed from here as well. Quite a useful thing is to subscribe to the CAD Image Tools update. This is purely an email that is sent out whenever we update the tools so you're aware of those changes. There's also a section for orders and also support tickets. And you can see I still haven't confirmed my email. <laughs> but I'm going to jump back to the installer now. And what you can see is this is now completed, so it tells me these tools have been installed. One important thing to note here is that the installation doesn't actually finalise until Archicad is launched and run. So if I was to go back to the home button, it wouldn't technically see these tools as being installed at this stage because I haven't yet run Archicad. So I'm going to do that next. Let's just close the browser. So I've now opened Archicad. Uh, you'll see that at the top of the screen, there is now a Caravage menus appeared with the tools in here. There is a separate one for objective, it's a pretty comprehensive tool with lots of menu options, so this is on its own separate menu at the moment. Everything's installed and ready to go, except you'll see there's none of the buttons down here. Now if you remember back to the first page when I talked about the work environment, I said I wasn't going to download the automatic install. Uh, literally that, just you run it and it does the installation and it's all nice and simple. But what I thought I would do is look at the manual installation so you can see how that actually works. The folder with the necessary files is on my desktop, so all I'm going to do is go to the Options menu, down to Work Environment, and into Work Environment itself. So in here, this is standard out-of-the-box Archicad stuff, there's nothing extra in here. What I'm going to do is hit the Import button. This is already browsing my desktop, and straight away it's picked up CAD Image Profile 18. Literally all I do is hit the Import button. That then sticks it into the list. And what I can do with it is double click and then choose the apply button. And what that does is add the extra tools that are necessary to the toolbox. So if I OK, you'll see now we have the polystyre, the railing tool, we have cabinets, electrical, and framing for objective. So that's a little bit of a run through the installation process for the Cadimage tools. If you'd like more information on the tools, you can visit the main caramage.com page. And for anything specific to your trial or your caramage experience, you can look at mycaramage.com.